Hello, I'm so glad you're here. I have been in the house for a while. It's been rainy for days and cold and just ready to get moving a little bit here at home. So let's get started. So come to your mat. Let's start with breathing. We'll do our traditional uh, Bikram inspired breath. So feet together to start. Toes and heels touch. Interlock all 10 fingers. Glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Just relax your shoulders down. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. Bring your elbows forward away from your chest. Elbows together. And let's start. Inhale, start elbows out. Then up, look straight ahead. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Relax the shoulders, bring your elbows forward away from your chest, elbows together. Inhale, head down, stomach in. So thighs slightly contracted, hips slightly forward. Exhale, head up, push your head back. And spine stays straight. You exhale with an H A ha breath. Elbows forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down. Bring the elbows out. Up, look straight ahead. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Relax the shoulders. Look for the wall behind you. Elbows together. Inhale, head down. Slowly bring the head down, stomach in. Look straight ahead, elbows up towards the ceiling all the way. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Ha, exhale, elbows forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down, so mouth is closed. Elbows up, exhale, head up, push your head back. Inhale, head down. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Elbows forward, elbows together. Inhale, head down. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Let's do two more. Elbows out. Then up, shoulders might be a little uncomfortable, that's normal. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Last one, inhale. Exhale, head up. And relax your arms down. From here, we flow, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands down to the mat. For this first forward fold, take some time here. All right, let your low back, let your hamstrings, let your hips sort of ease into this posture. Relax your head down. You can bring your hands down to the mat or grab your opposite elbows. Yeah. And so today in our flow, very similar sequence if you've been watching these videos, similar sequence. We'll move efficiently today. So we might have a little extra time at the end for some, some new stuff. Or maybe things we haven't done that often. Bring your hands down to the mat. Runner's lunge. Keep your left foot where it is. Bring your right foot back. Runner's lunge. Long spine. Right hip forward. Left hip back. Gaze is just behind your front foot. So your neck is in line. Shoulders relax. So shoulders away from your ears. Breathe, lift the right hamstring up towards the ceiling. Stomach in, go into high plank from here. Bring your left foot back, high plank. Today, let's have a little fun. Let's just do one chaturanga today. So here from high plank, your high plank, your elbow, excuse me, your wrist right underneath your shoulders. Let's bring it down, elbows touch the body here, the chaturanga, bring it through for up dog. And exhale, down dog, our first down dog. So good, so good. So you can walk it out a little bit if you like. Yep. Kind of move your head a little bit if you like. 
Good, lift and up on the toes, come down on the heels. Yeah, a little bit of that's good. So going back into our runner's lunge. Inhale, bring the right leg up, bring your right foot through. Runner's lunge, stomach in, long spine. Make sure your neck, same line as the spine. Shoulders down and back away from your ears. Keep the back leg strong, so there's power through the back leg. So moving forward off of the back toes. Bring your left foot up to meet the right. Bring your hands to heart to center, round up. Stretch up. Let's take it back then. Look back behind you. Good, and exhale, fold. Hands down to the mat, let's start with the left foot. Left foot steps back. Runner's lunge. Good, left hip forward, right hip back, long spine. Bring your right foot back for high plank. Yeah. So make sure index finger's pointing straight ahead, wrist the fingers fan out. Let's lower down into chaturanga. Bring it to the knees if you need to. Now bring the chest through or up dog. Roll over on the toes into down dog. Breathe. Inhale, bring the left leg up. Bring your left foot through. Long spine. Bring it forward, lift it back. And bring your right foot up. Hands to heart center, round up. Stretch up. Oh, and take your back bend. So root through the heels, contract the glutes. Hips tight as you push the hips forward, lift up out of the waist, lift the chest up towards the ceiling, take your back. Good. Nice. And hands come to heart center. Let's go second step. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Hands down to the mat, right foot back, little lunge. Breathe. Right hip forward, left hip back. Left foot back, half plank. Let's lower it down. Chaturanga. Bring it through. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Breathe. So from here we add that little twist. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Bring your right foot through. Long spine first. Right hand, right hip. Lengthen. And then start the twist. Yes. Now you can stay right here with your hand on your hip or the two shoulders stack. Right arm up. Stomach in. Bring your hand back down to the mat. Left foot steps up. Forward fold. Bring your hands to heart center round up. Stretch up. Oh, and take your back bend. And come back. Exhale, fold. Hands down, left foot back. Runner's lunge. Right foot back. High plank. Let's bring it down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Inhale, bring the left leg up. Bring it through. Left hand, left hip, lengthen, then twist. Left arm reach up, long spine, stomach in, breathe. Hand down to the mat, right foot steps up, hands to heart center, round up. Ah, stretch up, let's take one more back bend. Lift up out of the waist, look back behind you. Good. And hands, arms come to heart center. Call this equal standing or samaskiti. Inhale, arms sweep up or a second vinyasa. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. From this look up position, you can walk back to plank or hop straight back into low plank. Let's bring it through. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog, breathe. We're good. 
Inhale, bring the right leg up. Preparing for crescent lunge, bring it through. Hands to hips. Come on up. Arms reach up. Let's sit down into your lunge. Lift the back hamstring up towards the ceiling. Good. Breathe. Nice. Now, for kneeling salute, bring the left knee down, bring the palms together, or interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round down, forehead to the knee. So maximum front side compression here. Inhale, come back up. Stretch up out of the waist. Take your back bend. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Right foot steps back, down dog. Breathe. Inhale, bring the left leg up, preparing for crescent lunge, bring it through. Hands to hips, come on up. Arms reach up. Relax the shoulders. Sit down low. Lift the right hamstring up towards the ceiling, right hip forward, left hip back. And bring the right knee down. Legs at 90 and 90. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round down, forehead to the knee. Good. So you can separate your hands for balance if you need to. Inhale, come back up. Stretch up. Take it back, bend. Good. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Left foot steps back to down dog. Breathe. So as you notice the pattern now, and we're working the spine. So this yoga is so good for the spine. Forward fold followed by backward bend. A forward bend followed by backward bend. And back and forth and back and forth. Lift your hands, walk or hop it up. Good. Hands to heart center round up. Good. Tadasana. The samasthiti. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen from the look up position. Walk or hop it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Inhale, bring the right leg up, preparing for crescent lunge. Hands, hips, come on up. Arms reach up. Good. Sit down. You're up on the back toes. Try to get the back leg straight. Bring your hands, palms to heart center. Nice deep breath in. Relax the shoulders. And exhale. Twist. So spin to your right. So left arm to the outside of the right thigh. So just right at the knee. But not on the knee. Palms together. Good. Shoulders down and back. Keep the back leg straight. If you like to challenge yourself, you could open the arms. Your gaze is up, or if that's challenging for your neck, you can bring your gaze down. Good. Inhale, come back to center and bring the left knee down. Inhale, arms sweep up. Stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Round down, forehead to the knee. Inhale, come back up. Stretch up. Take your back bend. Bring your hands down to the mat. Right foot steps back to down dog. Breathe. Press up lunge. Inhale, bring the left leg up. Bring your left foot through. Hands, hips, come on up. Sit down. Arms reach up. Good. Relax the shoulders. Right hip forward, left hip back. Try to get the back leg as straight as you can. And that's going to get deeper into the hip flexor. 
All right, bring your hands to heart center. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, spin to your left. So now, right arm to the outside of the left thigh. Palms together. See if you can get the palms towards your sternum, towards the center of your chest. Stomach in, shoulders down and back. Look up. And if you like, you can open the arms. And bring your hands back, chest back to center. And bring your hands down, right knee down. Inhale, arms sweep up. Stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Round down, forehead to the knee. And you'll come back up. Stretch up. Take a back bend. Press your shin into the floor. That's going to help you stabilize. Press your right shin into the floor. Good. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Left foot steps back to down dog. Breathe. Good. Lift your hands, walk or float it up. Hands to heart center, round up. Tadasana. All right, that's our second vinyasa. Let's go for another one. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen from the look up position. Walk or hop it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. So from here, we move into our warrior two. Vira Bhadrasana two. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Bring your right foot through. Spin the back foot around windmill, arms open. Sit down into your warrior two. Sit down low. Good. Hips forward, upper body back. Breathe. So gently guide the hips forward. Make sure the right knee is coming back, right over the right ankle. Relax the shoulders. Good. Look over your front fingertips. You got it. Now look over the back fingertips. Notice the chin to shoulder relationship. Keep it there. Flip the palms open. Keep your head to shoulder where it is. Just tilt to triangle. This is the traditional Bikram triangle or hot triangle. Stretch up and stretch down. Push the hips forward. Good. So you've got, leg, you've got strength through the back leg. So contract the left quadriceps. Push the right knee back with the help of the right elbow. Upper body. Turn it. Twist it back like a spine twist. And bring your hands back down to the mat. Right foot steps back. Down dog. Inhale, bring the left leg up. Bring the left foot through. Warrior two. Sit on down. So gaze now is over the front fingertips. Sit down low. So eventually this left thigh parallel to the floor. Hips forward, upper body back. Spine straight, so you're not to one side or the other. Spine straight in the middle. Now gaze over the back fingertips. Keep the chin to head or chin to shoulder where it is. Flip the palms, tilt to triangle. Stretch down, stretch up. So the fingertips, the left fingertips come towards the left foot. So left elbow still inside of the left knee. Stretch up, good. Hips forward, upper body turn it, twist it back like a spine twist. Make sure right leg straight, right foot plug into the floor. And bring your hands back down to the mat. Left foot steps back. Down dog. Breathe. So from here we get that little external rotation of the hip. Inhale, bring the right leg up, leg straight, foot flexed. Good, now stack the hips, point the toe. Bring your hips back to level and right foot underneath the heart. Back foot 45 degrees. Hands, hips, come on up. Good. So this is revolved triangle. Inhale, bring the left arm up. If you have a block, grab it. Bring your hand down 
to the shin or the block, maybe the mat even. Lengthen the spine and then twist. Good. Try to keep the hips level. So with your right hand still on your hips, you can feel sort of if they're kind of cattywampus. Look up. Now, if you'd like, you can stretch the right arm up or reach the right arm up. Good. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Right foot steps back, down dog. Inhale, bring the left leg up, leg straight, foot flexed. Now sag the hips, point the toe. Try to keep the shoulders level here. Bring your hips back to level, left foot underneath the heart. Back foot spins out at 45 degrees, hands, hips come on up. Inhale, right arm reach up, bring your hand down to the block. Mat, foot, or shin. Inhale, lengthen, and then twist. Twist. So chest opens now towards the left side of the room that you're in. Let the two shoulders stack. You can bring the left arm up. And squeeze the upper inner thighs together. Good. And bring your hands back down to the mat. Left foot steps back, down dog. Breathe, look at your hands, walker, float it up. Hands to heart center, round up. Tadasana, let's go to the second set. Inhale, arm sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Walker, hop it back. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Preparing for warrior two. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Bring your right foot through, windmill the arms open, sit it down. Warrior two. Sit down nice and low, good. Good, 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 good. Nice. From here, let's reverse the warrior. So bring the left hand to the left leg. Or you can bring the arm behind you either way. And right arm reaches up and over. Stay down to the lunge that you started with. Good, let's come back here to warrior two. Gaze towards the back fingertips, flip the palms open, tilt to triangle. Stretch down, stretch up, hips forward. Good. Now extended side angle. So guitar hero, the top arm, bring it into extended side angle. Gaze is up, hips forward. Still gently guide the right knee back. You can take a bind half bind if you like half bind would be bringing the arm behind you grab the right thigh between the thigh and the torso or full bind bring the right arm underneath so right underneath the knee crease left arm comes behind and then you can take it to bird of paradise if that's in your practice we don't have time for that today but if you got it go for it we'll catch up bring your right foot back down dog you can recover here in down dog or you could take an optional vinyasa. Breathe. And I'll bring the left leg up. Bring your left foot through. Spin the arms open, sit down. Warrior two. Sit down low. Sit down really low. Yeah, there you go. Nice, let's reverse it. Right hand. To the leg or you can bring the right arm behind you either way left arm reach up and over good sit down stay down low let's bring it back to warrior two from here oops from here bring the gaze over the back fingertips flip the palms tilt to triangle stretch down stretch up look up good and from here, you can stay here if you like, actually. Or you can come into extended side angle. So sweep the arm around and up. You can come into a half bind. Full bind. And 
And if you got Bird of Paradise, go for it. We'll all catch up. Bring your hands back down, left foot steps back down, dog. You can recover here or take an optional vinyasa. We all meet in down dog. Inhale, bring the right leg up. Leg straight, foot flexed. You want to stack the hips, point the toe. Bring your hips back to level. Right foot underneath the heart, back foot 45 degrees. Hands to hips, come on up. Inhale, right arm reach up. Come on down. Flat spine. So the, the goal here, not the goal, but one of the things that we need to happen, so this is an effective spine twist, is for the spine to be parallel to the floor. So that's why it's really ideal to have a block. If you have one, so down here, my spine is not parallel. Up here, it's not parallel either. So finding that spot, my spine is pretty close to parallel. Lengthen. Oops. <laughs> the wrong hand. Excuse me. It's like, what's wrong here? So bring your left hand. So from here, we start the twist. Good. Keep the hips level. Good. And you can bring the top arm up at the two shoulder step. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Right foot steps back down, dog. You can take a breath here to recover, or you can do an optional. Vinyasa. Inhale, bring the left leg up, leg straight, foot flexed. Stack the hips, point the toe. Bring your hips back to level, left foot underneath the heart, back foot 45 degrees, hands to hips, come on up. This time, inhale, right arm reach up and bring your hand down to the leg or the foot or the mat or a block. Inhale, lengthen, then twist. Got it, left arm reach up. Good, and hands back down to the mat. Left foot steps back, down dog, or take your optional vinyasa. And it's totally that optional. We all meet in down dog. Breathe. Lift your hands, walk or hop it up. Hands to heart, center, round up. Good. Nice. Inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, fold. This time we go into Padastasana from the front or gorilla. So bend the knees and bring your hands, palms facing up, underneath the feet, relax your head. Good. And slowly start to straighten the legs. If the legs are straight, Start to bend the elbows. And lengthen the spine. So think of crown of the head stretching down towards the feet. Good. And release the hands to the side of the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then you'll look up and lengthen. Walk or hop it back. Straight into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. So from here, we move into standing separate leg head to knee. Dandimana, Vipaktapada, Janya Shashasana. Inhale, bring the right leg up and bring your right foot underneath the heart. This time, bring your palms together. Inhale, round up. So your feet are about a leg's length distance apart. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Round down and bring the forehead to the knee. So here, so the name of the posture, Janya Shirshasana, is actually head to knee. So you want to bring the head to the knee. So bend the knee up if you need to. So not so much a stretching posture, as it is a front side compression posture. So you're compressing all these organs and glands on the front side, thyroid gland especially, block the front leg, 
Palms together, inhale, round up. All right, brace yourselves, y'all. We're gonna change orientation, so pivot on the feet, face the other direction, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round down. Bring the forehead to the knee, just like you did. Just the other leg. Bend the knee up if you need to. Stretch your fingertips beyond your toes. Arm straight, elbow blocked. Maximum weight to the front leg to get the left side hip sticking up towards the ceiling. So lock the front leg. Palms together, inhale, round up. Good. From here, keep your legs exactly where they are. Just bring your arms behind. You can either grab your elbows behind or reverse namaskar. So this prayer position behind your back. And you think, oh my gosh, so tight. There's no way I can do it. Well, there isn't until you start trying. So even maybe your, your namaskar is way, is down here, not way down here, just down here. That's fine. So just over time, bringing it up a little bit higher, a little bit higher until the fingertips, I'm telling myself that now the fingertips will be right underneath the nape of the neck. Lengthen the spine and come down, this time straight spine, straight legs. So spine stays straight, legs stay straight. Breathe. Make sure your neck is aligned with the rest of the spine so it's not craned up, not collapsed down. Straight on, inhale, come back up, pivot. Face your original direction and come down flat spine. Good. So this time, again, keep the legs straight, spine straight. Breathe. And bring the hands on down to the mat. Left foot steps up. This time, Pada stops in from the back. The hands to feet from the back. Bend the knees, grab your heels. Underneath the heels, step on the fingers. Try to get the elbows behind the legs on the calf muscle. Keep that grip. Pull, stretch your body down. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees, eventually face to legs, below the knees. Eventually top of the head, comes very close to the top of the feet. Shoulders away from the ears. Roll the weight forward, straighten your legs. And you'll come back up, arms head together. Bend the knees, this time come up straight spine. Stomach in, knees bent to protect the low back. And arms down, nice. Let's go into awkward pose or Utkatasana. Keep the left foot where it is, just bring the right foot out to the right. Six inches in between the feet or just make sure the feet are exactly hip width apart. Arms up, parallel, stomach in. Sit down like you're sitting in. A little chair. Yep. Now bring your upper body back. A little back bend here. Stomach in more. Suck your stomach in more. Suck it in. Good. Relax the shoulders and keep the arms active. Breathe. Weights in the heels. Make sure six inches between toes, heels, knees, hands. Chest up, chin up. Lean back. Fall back. Inhale. Come back up. Keep your arms there and stand up on your toes. Maximum like you're a ballet dancer. Stretch your head, chest, spine, everything up towards the ceiling. And sit down on top of the toes. Spine straight until your hips touch the chair. Start to finish, feel hips and head touch the wall behind you, knees up. Get your heels up. Upper body lean back, come up high on the toes. Knees up towards the ceiling. You're sitting in the chair. Don't let your hips go down below the chair. Inhale, come back up. Keep your arms there. Heels come down. Third part. It's kind of why we call it awkward. This is part of the posture. So bring your knees together. Keep your feet where they are. So they're still six inches apart. Toes and heels. Stomach in. Slowly slide down that imaginary wall. Keep your knees together. So you might come down just a little bit. So the knees let you know how far you can go down in this posture. Good. If you got a pass, go all the way down from the knees. Come all the way down. So into the thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine is straight. Stomach in. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. 
Inhale, breathing slowly, come back up, knees together, spine straight, heels down, right foot back, and arms down by your side. Let's move into Eagle Garasana. Inhale, arms up, or Garudasana. Right arm under the left arm, cross them. Good, from here, pull the elbows down, sit down in that same little teeny chair. Upper body back, right leg lift up. Hide your can over the left. Sit down, pull your elbows down, stomach in. Nice. We're cramping the toes. <laughs> Bring the knees to the right, upper body to the left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything one line. Sit down more. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in. Bring your upper body back and change. Woo! Arms up, <laughs> left arm under the right arm, cross them and twist them. Like ropes, pull the elbows down and sit down. Sit down in that chair, upper body back, stay low, left leg lift up, high as you can over the right. Twist the legs, keep the foot underneath there and try to get no gap between the ankle and the calf muscles. Sit down, suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down Bring your upper body back and change. Arms up and arms down by your side. Good. From here, let's move into a little bit more balancing. So we're just balancing on one leg. We'll continue with that. So let's go into standing bow pulling or dancer's pose, as some call it. Bring your right hand out, palm facing up, elbow touching your body. Bring your hand out to the right. Drop it straight down. Grab your right foot behind you, palm face up. Pull from the inside of the ankle. Left arm up. Inhale, stretch up and kick. Now don't let this arm flop down. This arm is part of the bow unit. It's the air, you wanna keep it straight. So you can point down towards the ground, straight over the horizon. Find what you're going after. That's it, keep your eyes right there. Straight ahead. Body down, kick. Stretch forward, kick. Flip forward, kick. Body down, kick up one more time. And change, right leg down. Bring your left hand out. Bring it up to the left. Drop it straight down. Grab your left foot behind you. If you need the wall, use the wall. It's like, oh, there's no way. Use the wall. Inhale, right arm up. Knees together, inhale, stretch up, kick, left leg back and up, charge forward towards the front mirror. Good, bring the body down. Now you're standing like a solid. Body down, kick, stretch forward, kick, flip forward, kick, body down, kick, stretch forward. You're gonna look forward, body down, kick and stretch. That's it, keep your eyes straight ahead, not down on the floor. Kick, 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 change, leg down, nice. Let's come to the side, or to the back of your mat, I guess it would be. Arms over your head, and then right foot steps, big step, big step, stomach in, bend your body down. Bend your body down, let's bring it out way out in front for a wide-legged down dog. So you're getting ready to do some deep stretching of the hamstrings. So just kind of letting them warm up. So they're not getting too aggressive too soon. Just ease them out into it. Yeah, so start to contract the quads. Right? So the hamstrings, the quads here on the front, hamstrings on the back. Breathe. So one is contracting, so one can stretch. All right, let's walk the hands back. Hands to hips, come on up, keep the feet right where they are. Then bring your arms straight out, stomach in, bend your body down. And this time, see if you can grab the heels. Grab the heels, or grab the big toes. Or just place your hands down to the mat. 
right below your face. If you've got the heels, roll the weight forward. Make sure your legs are absolutely straight. So quads contracted and start to pull. Now, if you're already touching your head like mine is, take a smaller step. That way, of course, the legs are stretching. You feel that, hips are stretching. But also, as you're able to pull, then the spine starts to stretch. So if our head's already touching, the spine doesn't get to stretch as much. Inhale, come out, step in. Good, let's step back, right foot back, arms overhead, and arms down by your side. Breathe. Good. So from here, let's get one more balancing posture in. Let's go with tree. So your choice of tree today. So you could do toes on the floor, toes on the calf, toes on the inner thigh. Oops, inner thigh. Or I always like to do the half lotus tree. Got it. So bending the right leg so heel comes up high towards the hip bone. The sole of the foot faces the ceiling. Hips forward, gently push the right knee back. Stomach in, right hand up. Maybe left hand up. Main thing is this is a hip opener. So don't let the, the butt go way back. Bring it forward, bring the hips forward. Gently guide the right knee back. Stomach in, spine straight. If you're in another leg formation of tree, you're welcome to branch out, cactus out, and bring your right leg down. Other side, pick up your left foot. Okay, so heel comes up high, sole of the foot faces the ceiling. Yeah, make sure your two hips in one line and your two shoulders in one line. So your upper body should look like you're still standing on, on both legs. Your spine is straight in the center. Left hand up, maybe right hand up, hips forward, gently guide the left knee back. Stomach in, spine straight, stretch up. Good. And bring the left foot down. Nice. You got it, guys. You did so great for the standing series. So let's relax for Shavasana. Bring your heels together, feet fall open, arms down by your side, palms face up. Head straight, eyes open, breathing normal. So yeah, we do normally have a Shavasana in this series, in the middle, not in the middle, we're very close to the end. We're just like five to 10 minutes away, but really like a, just a little bit of a gas station to give us that extra oomph until we're at the end. So inhale, bring the right leg up for wind removing. Bring your right leg, grab your right knee a couple inches below the, the knee and pull the right knee down towards the right shoulder. Make sure left leg's straight, the calf muscle on the floor. Pull here, hold it. Massaging your ascending colon. Just Pava Muttasana, wind removing. Bring the right leg down, left leg up. Grab your left leg. Two inches below the knee, pull the left knee straight down, tuck your chin to your chest, try to get the neck flat on the floor, pull down, hold it there. And change, leg down, hold legs up. Grab your elbows over the legs, below the knees. Can't grab the elbows, but as far on the arms as you can. Relax your head and shoulders back down on the ground. Tuck your chin to your chest. Get the neck flat on the floor. No pull here. Just relax hips down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Try to get the neck flatter on the floor. Hold it here. And change. Legs down, arms down, relax. Breathe. From here, today, let's go into boat pose. So bring your hands behind your legs, rock on up for boat. So boat, you can have one foot on the floor, one leg extended, both legs uh, up in the air, both legs straight and extended, 
hands behind the legs, arms out, arms up, your choice. We're just here for 30 seconds and you're on. Good. So pick your boat, pick the boat that makes you float and relax the shoulders. Keep the chest proud, right? So that stomach in, shoulders down. So the shoulder blades gap and melting down the back. Breathe. So good, just 10 more seconds. Nice. Nice deep breath in and out. Three, two, one, relax. Roll over on your knees. Let's come onto our tummy. For spine strengthening. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. So fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with the deltoids. And distribute the body, body weight all over your hands equally. Feet together, toes, heels touch, arms, elbows touch in the body. Drop your shoulders down. Inhale, breathing, look up. Lift up. Everybody come up. So come up. So just your belly button touch on the floor. Rest of your upper body is up in the air. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips to drop the shoulders down. Look up, lift up. Everybody come up and lower back down. Good. Look to the right, lift your on the mat, relax. And from here, locus, salva. So get your arms straight position underneath your body. So palms face down. Palms face down. Pinky fingers touch each other side by side. Elbows completely invisible. Fingertips completely apart. Grab the floor. Take a deep breath without bending the legs, both legs. Excuse me, right leg, don't know where I got both legs. Just the right leg, lift up towards the seat. The legs straight, point the toes. Relax the left leg. Left leg's not helping, just the right leg. And lower down, relax the right leg, left leg, lift up. Yeah, now left leg, lift up. Lock the knee, point the toe. Stretch your toes back, lift your leg up, come up more, come up higher, and lower back down. Turn your head in and bring your mouth down. Readjust the palms, elbows come closer. Fingertips completely apart, grab the floor. Take a deep breath without bending the legs, both legs. Lift up, legs up, come up. Use your hand strength, use your arm strength. Shift the weight forward to the shoulders, legs up. Take a deep breath, come up more and lower back down. Arms out right away, look to the left. Right here on the mat, relax, breathe. Good, this time arms straight up. Straight up. Chin out onto the mat. Inhale, breathing, look up. Everything, arms, head, body, leg, everything lift up off the floor. Yeah, so chest up, look up, arms up, arms back, fingertips, same level as your head. Just the hip bones touch, everybody come up, go up. Chest up, exhale, breathing, come up one more time. And lower back down, look to the right, left here on the mat. Now, bow pose, down your asana. Chin out, hold your feet behind you, two inches below the toes, so right underneath the toe cleavage. Inhale, breathing, gently kick your legs back and up towards the ceiling. Look up, kick up, keep kicking. Don't stop kicking, roll forward to your toes or in the center from the side, head up more, knees in, wrist straight, point the toes, kick back, kick your legs behind you, kick up one more time, lower back down, look to the left. Right here on the mat, relax, breathe. Good, and from here, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your hands and into your knees. Bring the knees wide. Bring the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. Shift the weight back forward. And let's 
come into camel ustrasana. So we just did a series of back bends. We're gonna do one more here with camel. Bring your hands back to your hips, thumbs outside, fingers pointing down. Inhale, push the hips forward towards the front. Drop your head back, far as it goes. Go back halfway. Right hand down, right heel, left hand down, left heel. Now, if you're not able to grab the heels, keep your hands on your hips, that's fine. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, push your hips forward. Drop your head back, so trust it, let your head fall back. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, push the hips forward. Bring your hands back to your hips, chest up, spine straight. Good, sit down, hips to the heels, bring the arms forward for child's pose. Slowly walk it back up. Cross your ankles behind you. Roll back onto your bum. Let's get a spine twist in. And then we're finished. We're complete. So sp spine twist, recline spine twist. Bring the knees into the chest. And bring the knees over to the left. Arms out to the sides. And gaze over your right. And if you'd like, you can always bring your left hand on top of the right knee. If the knees are kind of off in limbo, you could bring a block or bolster or blanket underneath there as well. And come on back to center. The knees fall over to the right, knees over the left. And bring the knees back to center. Bring your feet down to the mat. And bring your feet up nice and long for Shavasana. So a couple of options with Shavasana, you could keep the, long, the legs long, or if you feel like your back sort of tightening with that, you can bend the knees, or even let the knees fall out, if you like, with the soles of the feet together. So your choice there, just make sure you're in a very comfortable position. And try to bring everything back in the center as much as possible. Palms facing up in a receiving position. important part of breath. So the more that we can release and let go of, then the more room we have to receive, right? If we're still holding on to whatever's stressing us or the stories in our head or the people who we think are trying to destroy us, whatever that might be, whatever those silly stories are in our head, then there's no room for the growth and the good stuff to, to seep in, right? It's not, uh, it's like you're impermeable. So we say often, you know, just leave it on the mat. Leave it on the mat and at the end, receive. Receive the growth in each posture, in each drop of sweat, from each thing that was maybe impossible yesterday or a year ago. Receive it. Celebrate it. encourage you to stay here for at least a couple more minutes. And as always, it was an honor to be with you for almost an hour. So I'll see you soon on your mat. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.